I know my dad. I know that he wouldn't be involved in killing people, and I believe him when he say he hasn't. Ooh. The immigration judge in Arlington, Virginia, granted our motion for a stay, which in effect has put a stop to the planned deportation of my father to Germany. It's not defined at this point. What it means is that the judge is now going to take a, a deeper look at our motion, which lays out the case that my father should not be deported from the United States to Germany to face arrest and confinement in a jail setting and a, any kind of a trial at the age of 89 with multiple ailments. He's simply too sick, too ill, too old to be able to go through this. We're perfectly prepared to move forward and defend him vigorously. He's not guilty of one murder, let alone 29,000. And there is absolutely no evidence that's been surfaced in the media or anywhere else that says he was involved in one murder, let alone the uh, allegations that came out that he was an accessory to 29,000. The point is, we can't ever get to that point if he's not physically capable of actually making it to a trial. Over this past week, it's been time and time again uh, a feeling that's come over me that, of disbelief that this could be actually happening when my dad is 89 years old and as ill as he is. We're dealing with supposedly two civilized societies here in the United States and the Federal Republic of Germany. And for the United States to only care about whether he can survive, not remain healthy, but survive a flight to Germany, and for Germany not even to care what his condition is prior to actually putting him on a plane, to me, it doesn't seem civilized at all. There was a lot of media speculation over what was happening, and we seem to be learning things from the media. So it was gratifying today to actually learn something from a court of law.